What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary top of the movie reaction video. Get this video a big thumbs up. It helps crush that YouTube algorithm and it's totally free. Comment down below any legendary top of the movie reaction videos you guys want to see. Let's go. Lord, help me walk another mile. Just one more mile. I'm tired of walking. Well, God said he will uplift the worry. At the end of the day, do not get worried because do not get worried of doing the right thing. And God will uplift those who work in labor that's weary and bless them with the strength, the energy, through the grace of him. How amazing is that? All alone. Lord, help me smile. Another smile. Just one more smile. You know I just can't make it on my own match. I never thought I needed help before. That's the amazing thing about God. God going to bring you to your knees on times that you thought you didn't need him. And at the end of the day, we can't live life without God because he gives us the wisdom to how to live our own life because none of us know how to live our lives. At the end of the day, you go ahead and try to live your life without the Lord and tell me how far you get. I thought that I could get by by myself. I just said that. Ain't that crazy? And I didn't even expect that. Now I know I just can't take it anymore. That's where it is. When you just gotta get fed up and God just bring you to your knees like he I'm here with you. See, sometimes God isolates us, get rid of people, you know what I'm saying, or secondary devices that distracting us for us to get his attention on to him and keep it there and grow and keep it consistent. He wants us to come to him as children. You feel what I'm saying? Faith. Walking in faith is having faith in the unseen. If we've seen everything, then there's no such thing as faith. But at the end of the day, through trials and tribulations... That's where God also is along with us, and he never left our side. He said, carry his yoke in a sense of, you know, carry carrying God's yoke mean holding on to him, clinging to him through good and bad seasons. Just know if you coming in, if you just came out of a storm, just know that somebody else getting prepared to go into a storm. Or if you're in the midst of a storm, there's only going to be a breakthrough where you're going to get out of the storm. And if someone's already out of the storm, they better get prepared to go back into a storm. You feel me? With an humble heart on bending knee, I'm begging you, please help me. What's wrong with it? Trying to stress. Come down from your golden throne to me, to the lowly me. I need to feel the touch of your tender hand. Remove the chains of darkness. Let me see, Lord, let me see just where I fit into your master plan. I never thought I this one I think into your master plans. See, God has plans for us, it's not on the timing that we think we want it done, it's on His timing because He knows what's best. That's where patience come along. I need a help before. I thought that I could get by by myself. Now I know I just can't take it anymore. With an humble heart on bending knee, I'm begging you, please. God said, just call on to me as a man or woman, as we are his sons and daughters. Cry to him and request. Cry out to him. He hears those who are righteous. Thank you very much.
Thank you. If this king right here, by the grace of God, who is blessed, who has blessed us with his talent, his skill set, is calling on to God saying, basically, help me. Setting a motto of a sign of strength and vulnerability. Like, God, I can't do this life without you. And none of us can. Shows that first and foremost, a man who has no faith in work, they don't get too far. But a man who has faith in work, with works, there's perseverance. They prevail. But if a man with no faith and no work gets nowhere. So at the end of the day, family, this just reminds that when we ask, we come to God with prayer, petition, and thanksgiving. And he says, just ask me and you shall receive. But just know when we shall receive it, we'll be at the time of God's time because he knows what's best for us. If we knew everything and knew what's best for us, then at the end of the day, God know if we knew everything. Say, for example, you'll get a car in 2025. Because you know that's what God said he was going to, you know, that's God's plan. And you know your whole plan. Well, it would make us complacent because we felt like and, and very high-headed and very, um, how can I put this? We'll be bragging a lot. We'll be boasting a lot. We'll be prideful. And that will only go up to be to the highest extent because we know everything. So the tests and trials and tribulations um, and tests in our character wouldn't exist as God wants to build that character to help us to grow, to be better. And um, bless us with the spiritual wisdom and the spiritual maturity to navigate life. Um, as the good book is the way of life. Now, we're all not perfect. I'm not perfect. But at the end of the day, as the effort and the consistency overshadows everything. Just like love, genuine love, as a confidant, covers a multitude of sins. But if you're new to the channel, family, come join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. Let the love supersede the hate, family. Peace.